most important cases encounter. And the number of five cases in the middle are bronchogenic carcinomas for us. So these are the cases basically given to you. Now. So doing diagnosis probably if gross is not answered. Like the doing diagnosis chronic liver is not answered. <coughs> Same for the unknown antibodies. Same the bedside. Along with the complications are the most important part. So once again in respiratory system. So like in abdomen, we asked about the, whether is there any chronic liver disease that you can like is present or not. Same thing here, the chronic lung disease, CLD. Once again, always. Remember. So number one question, whether chronic lung disease or not. The basically the most mostly I yes. So chronic lung disease. Basically, like prolifation is not a chronic lung disease. Prolifation is not a chronic lung disease. So what I'm saying, you're mostly given the chronic lung disease. So that's why asking question, chronic lung disease is present or not. And the peripheral sign, the single sign is myelosis. This is very important. So number one question in entering the room, see the cyanosis, whether peripheral cyanosis or central cyanosis is present or not. Be very resilient on that. Same thing is chronic lung disease, diagnosis is done. Patients don't have the cyanosis, don't have the center cyanosis. Bedside, maybe the oxygen cylinder. Diagnosis is done once again, oxygen in corrected cyanosis. So once again, chronic lung disease. Diagnosis is done. And chronic lung disease, once again, is a diffuse lung disease. Diffuse lung disease, chronic bronchial asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, bronchial stasis, and pulmonary fibrosis. Chronic bronchial asthma is not given in station one. This is given in station 5. We'll discuss in the station 5. Why chronic bronchial asthma is given in station 5. So, correct. Very rarely, very rarely, <coughs> they will put that chronic bronchial asthma. Alright, you remember. So, for today, the most important case is the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Next is the bronchial disease, next is the pulmonary fibrosis. So, the first question, once again, what do you say? Cyanosis. So, the first question is the cyanosis. So, enter into the room the second important question what variety of chronic lung disease it is? Second question. First question is a chronic lung disease question. Yes, chronic lung disease, the cyanosis or the oxygen dependent or the bedside oxygen cylinder. Clear? Second question is a chronic lung disease, what variety? These answers will give you the single single point that is a cloning, another C for cloning. Remember my idea. Clear? So looking for the clubbing once again, the C for the clubbing, the first diagnosis of the clubbing is the CFA, you know, cryptogenic fibrosing alveolitis. What I say? Cryptogenic fibrosing alveolitis, the most common of common club. You enter in the room, see the clubbing, diagnosis is done, see it. Immediately after that. The first diagnosis. Second diagnosis, once again C for CF, CFA, second diagnosis CF. Cystic fibrosis and the other cause of bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis is the most common cause of the cystic fibrosis, provided that you are in UK. Clear. Provided that you are in UK. So you got the clubbing. So the second possible diagnosis is the cystic fibrosis and other causes of bronchiectasis. Means bronchiectasis. And third one is C for cancer. C for cancer means bronchogenic carcinoma, and everybody knows about this common cell lung cancer, the most common cause of clubbing. So diagnosis one cyanosis, chronic lung disease, you confirm it, and mostly I think the chronic lung disease. Second is the clubbing. Clubbing say to diagnosis number one, cryptogenic fibrosing alveolitis. And second diagnosis, CF, CF, then third type is the cancer. So we need to focus on that. That's it. And third question, once again, third question, complications. Complications means only the leg edema, nothing else. I'm saying only the leg edema because you are not allowed to examine the cardiovascular system to say pulmonary hypertension, right heart failure means the core coronavirus. Clear? Remember what I'm saying? So the third question asks only the same the edema. You see, you don't need to see the pattern. You just see the oxygen cylinder. At the best time you say the chronic lung disease. You see the cloud. Your diagnosis is done. See it. You see that leg in my diagnosis is done with the complications of right or failure or pulmonary. So the three question answer done finished. And last fourth is the lagitologist. So the lagitologist is a chronic cryptogenic fibrosis alveolitis. I say pulmonary fibrosis by the 
cryptogenic fibrosing and velitis is the most common cause of club. Is the only one cause of club. That's it. Remember, this is one of the important information for you guys. What I'm saying? Pulmonary fibrosis or ILD is the same word. By cryptogenic fibrosis, C for CFA, causing clubbing only the one cause. Other causes don't produce pulmonary. Other fibrosis don't cause Yes. Except the single word that you need to know in station 5, that is called the asbestosis. Asbestos lung disease. Also, lung fibrosis don't produce the clubbing, only the mesothelium will produce the clubbing. Clear. Clear to understand what I'm saying? So once again, what I'm saying, the respiratory system clubbing, the rule of C, the first C is the CFA, second C for CF, third C is the cancer, and along with the cancer, bronchial carcinoma, mesothelium, just put it in one. Clear? Abdomen station, C for clubbing, once again C for chronic liver disease, is the most common cause of abdomen station that you can think about, this is the cause of clubbing. Second C for once again, celiac disease is greater than, sorry, Crohn's disease is greater than ulcerative colitis. Once again, C, Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease, once again, remember, both IBD can produce clubbing, but only the celiac disease, sorry, Crohn's disease Crohn's. is more common than the ulcerative colitis causing clubbing. And third is the cancer. What cancer? GIT lymphoma. Listen very carefully. Means coming in the abdomen station, saying that this is chronic liver disease, the most common. And second, I say the Crohn's disease, greater than ulcerative colitis, is the second most common. And third is the cancer, the GIT lymphoma, only causing the clubbing. No other cancer causing the clubbing. Remember, this is important. And last, but not the least, celiac disease, least common cause of clubbing, can produce. If you go to UK, do the exam in UK, Many centers, you got the clubbing, a possible cause may be the celiac disease. The last cause, remember, the first cause definitely the CLG, C chronic liver disease. The last talk I'm talking about, CLG, chronic liver disease, I say the new quality you're looking for, but you got a clubbing. A female patient, diagnosis done, PVC. Once again. So clubbing in chronic liver disease is mostly in PVC. Another important information. Just remember, right? Forget that to me now. Now I'm talking about respiratory system. So what I say? First one, cyanosis, oxygen cylinder, bedside, oxygen cylinder, any oxygen dependency that you look for. You say the number one diagnosis, my diagnosis, chronic diagnosis. Number two, clubbing. You're looking for the clubbing and you diagnose your cases. Cryptogenic fibrosing and relatives. And third, you see, you have seen the leg edema. You don't need to put the hands, you see the leg edema. Darkness done, coral body. And fourth is the answer, the underlying each other. When I say it clubbing, you call it diagnosis of the cryptogenic fibrosing and the Clear. Now we approach how to examine the patterns after. But remember these four important things. Whenever you enter into the room, before entering into the room, you please rehearse these four important points there and four important points there. Please do it, please do it. Even though you've done very, very well, you've done lots of time practice earlier before going to the real exam. Clear? Please do it before entering the room. In each and every station, whatever the tips and tricks I'm giving, please do it, rehearse before entering the room. Do the things, and that will, that will be helpful. Even though you've done very, very well, because you know the sympathetic brush, that adrenaline and nodding are so dangerous. That can make you blurred in your eyes, in your brain, in your ears, and all the senses of critical members, inspection, palpation, palpation, oscillation, listen, which will make you blunt. So that's why I need to rehearse before I enter the room. What I need to do is the four important points that I need to go through. And whenever you do practice, station one, right, you do practice, please, these four important points in abdomen and respiratory, as I say, please, whenever you examine the patient, please keep it in mind. This 44 points, right? Yes, let's start. Keep open, right? Same thing, you are trying to go. Hello, sir, good morning. Hello, sir, good morning. And you hand, hand wash first, right? And then talk to your patient. Hello, sir, good morning. I am the person of the candidate of this basic exam. I have been asked to examine your chest. What I am going to do, I will have a good look on your chest, feel of your chest, 
All right, then tap on your chest and listen up your chest. That's it. So I, I'd like to have a good look, feel, tap, and then listen up your chest. During this examination, we do a clinical discomfort just right below. I'll stop at that point and very take care of them. Clear. And after that, in a position. Position is 45 degree magnets in cardiovascular and respiratory system. All right. Just can you just sit for for me, sir? You see, I'm making it good, comfortable, and I'm saying the body languages and making the patient to be comfortable. Answer. Don't make them pull and push. All right. Don't do this. Be careful. Tell them and try to make them to be cooperative with you. All right. Yes. Can you just pull a few shots. Full, full. Remember, my dear, you feel a bit of discomfort of the female patients. This is important. Don't feel discomfort. You are an exam. You are an exam. You are a candidate. You are a doctor. All right. So you need to expose the full. Be careful. Full. All right. Yes. A bit of female cases. What do you do? Just give the answer. All right. And do practice saying some, medicine, some, medicine, some, some, medicine, some, all this. All right. We don't do practice because in England people speak to the patients. Some, uh, medicine. All right. So this is the records. Here is just reverse, right? All right. They're saying this doctor, all right, doctor, doctor, you never say son to the doctor or man to the doctor, right? They're saying just reverse. Anyway, so in a female patients, what we can do when they do exit in the back, when they do exit in the back, make we can make like that. Just keep it like that. Then any do exit in the back. Why not examine the front? Of course, you have to open that. All right, even in female patients. Of course, what I'm saying, maybe no problem, you know, all right? <coughs> you must expose, be careful. All right, I'm like that was No, you have to expose, even the bra, all right? You have to expose, no, no, no doubt about it. Yes, no excuse. Yes, can you go back? I'd like to make it possible to then. If uh, examination is Asian country, like this. Whatever, part. whatever. You go back, so you go back, go back. A bit comfortable. You see, this is comfortable job. This is 45 degree angle and make the patient in a comfortable state. Are you comfortable, sir? Yeah. Asking this question <coughs> level and getting a good marks also. All right. Are you comfortable, sir? Yes, sir. So yes, my dear. So let's start the examinations. So once again, we'll do start from here. All right, the symmetry of the chest, my dear. The inspection. This is important. Can you turn here on the left side for me? Take it into the in and out, all the way through your mouth. All right, once again, sir. Yes. So, symmetry of the test. Forget now all the points, what I say. The starting information should be from the full head. The symmetry of the test that we are looking for. All right. So, symmetry of the test we are looking for. Follow. So comfortable zone, don't worry. Yes. So what I'm saying, the symmetry of the chest is very important. So once again, can you do like that? Take it in in and out. All the way through your mouth. Please come forward. Alright. Do it once again, do it. Can you uh, deep breath in and out all the way through your mouth? Do it once again. Can you repeat it once again? Sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Okay. Can you do it once again, sir? Can you do it once again for me? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Come back, sir. Yes. Yes, at the end of the day, you feel the sun is so easy and viable to say each and every one in your one. All right. Can you just go on, sir? Yeah. Can you just take a deep breath in and out? All the way to your mouth, sir. All the way to your mouth, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Always saying this word. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes, sir. Please come to the Please take a deep breath in and out through all through your mouth, please. Repeat again, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You've done super. Yes, come. I'm good to have a look uh, on the stage for my food head. So do please turn your head to the left and open your mouth. Take deep breath in and out all the way through your mouth. Okay? Yes. This is very important. What are you doing? Let's say. Thank you. What is the importance we'll talk about? Yes, come, come first. Just see the symmetry. See the symmetry. Sir, can you deep in and out? Uh, all Take your deep breath in and out. Okay. Uh, through your mouth or the. Take your deep breath in and out. Take a deep Breathe in and out. All the way through your mouth, sir. All the way through your mouth, sir. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, in the cemetery. Yeah. Yes, very good. Come. Turn uh, your head to the left and open your mouth and take a deep breath in and out all through. All the way to your mouth, sir. Right now, sir. <coughs> yes. So listen, my dear. Every question will be asked. If you have any questions, please keep in your mind and then, then you can ask me. No worries, but every question will be asked. It will be answered. So don't worry. Alright? So look at here. So symmetry is so important. Listen, my dear. Whenever the exam, <coughs> you are going for the exam. One out of one million cases that is found till today, there is normal cases they are given. So no normal cases are given. Done things. So whenever you have seen the symmetry or asymmetry, chest expansion definitely reduced. Now the question is symmetry or asymmetry. That's it. Clear to what I'm saying? So symmetry and asymmetry I'm looking for. Reduced definitely. Whenever we do present, we'll say right, chest expansion symmetrically reduced, no doubt about it. Or asymmetrically reduced, or right side is reduced, then the other left. Clear me answer what I'm saying. Yes. There is reduced, no doubt about it, because the disease is disease drug is given, so chest extension is reduced. So what I am looking for? Symmetry or asymmetry. If the symmetry, reduced lung disease. That was is done. Diffuse lung disease once again, COPD, bronchitis, is COPD. COPD. So COPD. First, first is first. COPD. <coughs> yes, bronchiectasis. Okay. COPD, bronchiectasis, pulmonary hypertension. COPD, bronchiectasis, pulmonary hypertension. Say one second, quick. More quick. More quick. COPD, pulmonary hypertension, bronchiectasis. COPD, bronchiectasis, pulmonary hypertension. Say once again. COPD, bronchiectasis, and pulmonary hypertension. Super done. Yeah. Excellent. So once again, you got a diagnosis immediately. The chest expansion is reduced symmetric. You done. What is diagnosis? COPD. As I said, these are the serious, they put the cases in your exam. And these are the serious diseases that happen in the community. Clear? What I'm saying? So you already got your diagnosis, symmetrically reduced diagnosis done. Now you got, alright, right sided, <coughs> reduced, but left sided, not that much. Clear? So right sided asymmetry, you got it. So high level, you got the right sided asymmetry. Just tell the patient, can you just sit forward for me, sir? Alright, and see the back. Remember, whenever you got the asymmetry, just see the back and also as well as the front. What we are looking for, we are looking for a scar if the asymmetry. So you confirm the asymmetry that is left sided chest expansion is reduced. So you got a left sided total scar. Clear. Let's go back. So you got a scar, diagnosis done. Thoracotomy scar means pneumonectomy, lobectomy. PT and LT, done first. Diagnosis done. And what we need to next, we we'll look for. Next, you got the no scar at all. But the left sided chest is reduced. Expansion. So remember, my dear, the four important diagnosis doubtless at the Lung basis. So we need dullness of the lung basis, plural diffusion, plural thickening, consolidation collapse, raised from diaphragm. Four diagnoses. Plural diffusion, collapse, consolidation. Plural diffusion, plural thickening, plural thickening, collapse, consolidation. Consolidation and collapse all together. Say? And uh, diaphragmatic. Raised, raised heavy diaphragm. Alright. Say with me. Plural diffusion. Consolidation. Uh, no. Total division. Total thickening. Total thickening. Collapse consolidation. Consolidation and collapse. Consolidation collapse. And uh, this is the end. Total division. Total thickening. Consolidation and collapse. Raised heavy diaphragm. Total division. Total thickening. Total division and collapse. Raised heavy diaphragm. Total division. Total thickening. Consolidation and collapse. And raised heavy diaphragm. Total division. Total thickening. Consolidation and collapse. And raised heavy diaphragm. Yes, my dear. Listen very carefully. Among the four yeah. cases, plural divisions are given to your exam. Plural thickening is not given until otherwise it is written. Shipyard worker. Shipyard worker. As best to the expo, plural thickening is called. Otherwise, don't think these cases are given. So forget it. Next one. Consolidation and collapse are not given. Consolidation. Usually the case of emergency. Use the case of infarction. So infarction cases are not given. 
So the people are thinking so broad and wide, that's why they are not giving the diagnosis very confident. And last, the race between Afra. I'm not given nowadays, it was given five, six years earlier. Yes, the tuberculosis. The crush, phrenic not crush, was the treatment of pulmonary tuberculosis with old TB. Nowadays, not given. And raise the diaphragm once again. Below the diaphragm is a liver. Alright? Some abscess. So, once again, the infectious disease are not given. So, done, finished. So, what I'm saying, symmetry, diagnosis, COPD, bronchial disease, Say once again. Yes. Next. So symmetry is not here. We go back. See the lobectomy or pneumonectomy means the scar. Scar is present. Diagnosis is done. Lobectomy and pneumonectomy. Scar is not here. Diagnosis is prolifation. Can it be mastication? I'm coming to this part. Forget it. Forget it. I'm coming to this part. So these are the cases, man. Clear? So let's do it once again. What examination will do and we'll follow. Right, so can you just take it, take it, you want to turn your head on the website, please? Can you take it your in and out? All right. So could you please give a cuff for me? <coughs> All right. So giving a cuff is a second important component after seeing the symmetry. So giving a cuff, a product is put on diagnosis, not rocket disease. Symmetry you got, diagnosis is done, progress disease. Clear? Even though giving a cuff is a dry cuff, doesn't essentially mean that this is not excluding bronchial cases also. Clear? Maybe the patient is on treatment or maybe the patient is a dry bronchial cases. Remember? Clear? But you got an idea. Alright, maybe bronchial cases may not be. But please give a cuff. This is also another skill component of your examination. Next point is the scarred loop. Once again, I say, before handing your patient, Look at front and back. Say with me, front and back. Front and back. Say front and back. Front and back. Front and back. Once again, front and back. Front and back. Please enter the course. All right. Yes. Once again. So front and back means for the female patient is the problem. So you have to tell. Could you please lift up your breast for me, ma'am, for me? All right. This is important because some of the scar marks may be hidden. Right. These areas. So you have to. Can you just raise your arms for me? All right. For the male persons. For the females, can you, could you please, all right, lift up your breasts for me, madam. Understand? And next one, can you just sit forward for me, sir? And see the back. Yes. My back only. So done, finished. Clear. So from this stand, what you have done, symmetry, number one, give a cuff for me, number two, and number three, what you have done, scar marks. You can see, Go right coming forward and very close to the patient and also see the back as well. So these three important points. Say with me, number one. Symmetry, symmetry, and scar. Once again, say with me. Symmetry, scar, and scar. Once again. Symmetry, scar, and scar. Once again. Now we'll come forward. Starting with the tip of the hand. Just show me your hands. So what are you looking for? The first examination, we already sinuses. So, I like to see the sinuses like that. Means we are looking at the tips of the fingers, compare with hands color, whether it is sinus or not. It will be very evident to compare with hands, alright? And also see here also. Yes, once again. If you feel that, alright? Don't need to do that. Only seeing them. If you look, this is already sinus, immediately tell the patient. Could you please stick your tongue out for me? See the tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue, tip of the lips, tips of the lips, tip of the nose, tip of the elbows, tips of the finger and tips of the toes, or TTTs, right? Means the sinuses. All sinuses all together. So please look immediately. Whenever you see this is the sinuses, right? Next one is the clubbing once again. I said sinusis club. Right. Next one. This is very important. Wash. Say with me. Wash. Wash, wash. wash means I put the name of wash. Washing of the small muscles of the hands. Okay. Say with me. Washing, washing of small muscles of the hands. Right. Say with me. Washing, washing of small muscles of the hands. Wash. Wash means 